I learned Harvey Kendrick through Zakari. As simple as it sounds, one day I was like, yo, like, where you gonna let me play like Kendrick some beats? And he was like, oh, you think it's that simple? I was like, yeah, like, if you put me in a room with Kendrick, I'm gonna get some place. Automatically. I wanna be with you. 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 Usually people expect you to go to studios, like huge studios, like go across town and all that. Like I, I do the opposite. I'd rather work from the crib. I wake up in the morning, watch a movie, like roll up, pray. Like I, I'm real simple. Like I don't like to do too much. Like I'm, I'm an in-house person for real. I'm more than just a beat maker. I'm not the guy to be like, man, I'm finna make like 30 beats today. <laughs> nah, it's more of like, it's more of like a lifestyle to me. Like, it comes to me like at, at a certain time. For an example, like all the songs that I have out right now is like I made at the crib. I met Zakari, basically I was working at Bryson House and he actually wasn't a singer. <laughs> I, at least I didn't think, I didn't think he was a singer. He had a saxophone in his hand. And he like he's dope at like every instrument. I never really knew that <laughs> he could really sing until we actually started really like working together on a regular basis. And we made a lot of records. But when we made this, we were like, oh, <laughs> what is this? Like we knew that this was crazy. I first started off this beat by putting some filtered keys just to uh, give it the right build up that it needs really. It's like a rose, like a regular piano. If I was to explain the effects I have on here, it'll take all day, but I put layers of effects on all my instruments to make it sound like a total different instrument. If you was listening to my beats, like you would think that I'm like really good at the piano, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm not, I'm not good at all. It's more of just me, like I mastered FL Studio. The second thing I added on this beat is the sample that me and Zakari basically, we made something original from a lot of different content that he had. So just to build on top of that, a simple kick. After I did the kicks, I did the highest and the snare immediately. I basically enhanced every instrument that I heard in the in the original sample. I love this bass. Again, it's real simple. I do simple things, so if, if you put it together, it sounds complex. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the kicks and the highest and the bass together. It has to flow, like everything has to be cohesive. I treat it like a, a house, like I'm building a house or something, like I'm playing a game. It's not like just making beats. This is my favorite one. I don't think nobody even notices in the beat. It's my voice, it's like a whole bunch of different stuff. Like I hear a lot of beats and it sounds like a certain person made it. Like that's one of the reasons why I don't have a tag. I want people to know that like a certain sound that I'm using that that's a Teddy beat. Zakari had like a, a vocal chop. Lovely. And I put a crazy effect on this one, the last one. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just to give it that bounce. Obviously, like Kendrick caught the bounce of it. Like he was, his lyrics was actually responding to my vocal chop. So after I added the vocals, it was pretty much done to me. But I wanted to like make it make something pop out a little bit more. I added these keys. So the last element that I added to this beat is these crazy snares that I got. I basically just put a regular snare there and put like a lot of distortion on it to be on some like Watch the Throne shit. The funny part about this beat is it's not even that many instruments. Everything's simple, but like when you, once you like put all the instruments together, it sounds like, like a full, a full song. This song is big because, for one, like I don't think nobody heard Kendrick on this type of vibe. The crazy thing about it, I wasn't playing this for Kendrick. It was Kendrick asking me like, "Hey, play something you're working on." 
like it was just him being curious of like I guess uh, of what I'm listening to or what or what everybody else listening to. So I was just playing this low key, just showing it's like showing off what I what I got. <laughs> he just said it was a great song. He really didn't react like until the next day, really, until until I found out that he was like that he likes the record and he wanted me to come back. After he dropped down, I was like, uh, I could see why he picked the beat. Like, it definitely slid like perfectly. Like, <laughs> it was almost like it was made for him. Like, honestly. <laughs> <laughs>